Snipers, you have to see what's happening with the Bitcoin price right now as we start off the week. We have a new weekly candle. And before I went to bed, this is a 1 a.m. update. I had to share what I'm finding in the charts for you guys. We've been covering the symmetrical triangle. I'm actually going to delete it because everyone is now covering it and we are elongating within it. But look at this level here at 31,300. This is now the previous weekly open. If Bitcoin can have hourly and four hour confirmations above 31,300, the previous weekly open, we know how important it is to keep the previous weekly opens on the chart snipers. This is a potential move of 10 plus percent for Bitcoin. And all we need is a confirmation above 31,300 to see Bitcoin potentially test 34,788. For those that are in short positions, we could expect shorts to come in at 31,300. Do not expect this to be an easy place for Bitcoin to get above. But if we get hourly and four hour candle confirmations, above 31,330, then Bitcoin does have a potential 10% plus move up to 34,788, where we certainly will find resistance. In most cases, this is where we're going to see smart short positions get taken. But at that point, we'd have to evaluate the situation. Bitcoin may even test 35,000, then test 30,000 before coming back up to test higher levels. But our thesis is still strong, snipers. We have yet to come and test the recent lows after the Luna attack with a major sell candle volume spike that in the past has resulted in bottoms for Bitcoin. Our thesis has been true that Bitcoin is more likely to test 34,788 versus testing 25,000. And with that being said, I will wrap up with this snipers. Traditional markets are moving sideways. The NASDAQ is up over 1% in futures markets. The DXY down 0.33%. Nothing to really go home and tell grandma about just yet. We just have to certainly monitor and wait for traditional markets to give us some answers. But what I will say is the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart did sell off with the Luna dump. And since then, we have yet to see weakness. As a matter of fact, I would argue that the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart is actually showing strength, maintaining 65,000 Satoshis, maintaining this higher low. And so this is actually showing confidence in the altcoin market. Despite what happened to Luna, the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart has not broke down. And so if we can get the confirmation of the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart to see momentum back to the upside, that would also be a very big deal. And so that's something we'll monitor this week. Other than that, there's not much else to talk about. I'll get another update out if there is something important on the charts. I was about to go to sleep. It's 1 or 2 a.m. right now. And I was just like, man, that previous week we opened. I started watching YouTubers just to wrap up the night. And they're all talking about the symmetrical triangle. I'm like, no, not what everyone's talking about. That's not what we want to talk about here on the Cypress channel. And so I have to get a new video update out. And then I saw the previous weekly open. And I'm like, bam, that's a better confirmation than the symmetrical triangle that we're already beyond 70% towards the apex. It really could break up or down at this point. It's not really a confirmation for a trade. And so I'm going to be monitoring this breakout for Bitcoin to see if we can take a nice long position, not just on a day trade. That could be another spot position because a 10% potential upside there above 31,300 is a nice piece of the pie. So we'll see. And I told you, if we get to 34,000, now we can start saying, oh, this could be a bottom, a place that we never come down and test ever again, 26,700 being the bottom after what happened to Luna. This is a storyline that we could look back on a year from now, as I've been saying, and say, man, shouldn't have you bought that dip when Luna collapsed? Wasn't it so obvious? So much fear in the market. That's what we were waiting for. Capitulation. That was it. And now it's bottomed out. Bitcoin at 100,000 US dollars, never to come down below 30,000 ever again. That's a little bit of a bolder statement, but let's stay humble and just realize that price action will eventually tell us the answers and that we cannot predict a month from now or 10 months from now or even 10 years from now. But what we can predict is what's happening in the present moment right now with the current geopolitical events, with the geoeconomic events, even the World Economic Forum right now going on in Davos. How is the present moment looking? All we have is our present moment. The future and the past actually do not exist. They are merely just illusions. And with that, thank you all for tuning into the Snipers channel for this start of the week update. It's a Monday update, but, you know, at 1 a.m. So pretty much a Sunday update for me. 
I'll see you guys next time, snipers. Smash the like button if you support this content, and until tomorrow, snipers.